mean, it's winter. There's probably not going to be a lot of wildlife no, out I there. think we're safe today. Yeah. Be right. Yeah, we can probably outrun them. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Kraken crew, Allison Lucan here. Welcome back to another episode of Uncharted. Wanted to go on a little trail hike today, and I thought I'd bring along Kraken forward, Alex Winberg. Hey guys. So we're out at a Coal Creek Trail. There's a map. We have to figure out where we're going. Let's, Let's do it. Let's check it out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I really don't know where we are. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say. <laughs> this is gonna be one of those like, oh, look at this, <laughs> this one here, and we have oh, no we're here. idea where we're going. Where, where, oh. Red Town Trailhead, that's where we're starting right there. But there is not, but then I don't see Coal Creek. I literally don't see Coal Creek Trail. Falls Trail right down oh. the red line. All right. Got a little bit of a climb at the start. Sure. And then downhill on the way back. That's perfect. Out and back. That's what we're liking. Okay, let's go. Awesome. Does this feel like Sweden? Back in the days, yes. The last couple of winters, I mean, we had one here in November during COVID and it was like barely any snow. Right now yeah. it's more, it's just dark and yeah. dark. Like the snow never comes like back in the days used to be this like i don't know how much snow it would come down but we used to we had a thing during new year's eve we always played soccer in the snow so it's like parents against the kids and okay. it's just like tackling all that because the snow was like up to your waist and it was just so much fun and then one year the snow never came so all of a sudden it's just like ruined the tradition and it's been like that the last i don't know eight years so yeah the snow yeah we don't really see that much anymore of it soccer you used to play a lot of soccer. Yes. So I actually thought I was like gonna go full, like yeah. be a soccer player, but I don't know. I always loved hockey a little bit more. It was more fun. Even till this day, before games, we play a game of two touch, yeah. playing soccer. And I just had so much fun. And I feel like I see it in your hockey game with your ability to use your feet, to shield the puck, to, you had a little kick pass. Where was it? I can't remember, but, uh, you, but you have really yeah, good, remember, yeah. good footwork. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I feel like, I mean, the stick is a great tool, but if you can take like the, whatever you have, skates or the stuff to protect the puck, you have an advantage. So yeah, it's something I'm, I've been working on my whole life. And I feel like the soccer that I grew up with kind of like helps because it is a little different, a little tricky, but I also think like it helps a lot as well. So look at this view though with the snow. Isn't that nice? No, it is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, sure is. All right, we are still on track. 0.1 miles. Yeah. Let's go. We're going that oh, way. Oh, that way. <laughs> That's what I mean, because that one well, is point one. I don't and this know. is one mile. So. Oh, I see. Okay. I can read. We have to edit that, so yeah. <laughs> People I talk to will often marry the idea of a playmaker yeah. and someone who can think the game really well. Sure. Do, do you feel like you see and think the game at an excessively high level? Do you think that's a strength? Yeah, I mean, I would say probably that's why I'm in this league. I feel like my hockey IQ is probably what brings me to this mm. level. I think uh, it's tough to learn, but it's just something that maybe coming from like all these other sports, but just like how I look at the game, I feel like that kind of like helps me uh, to perform and achieve and like look at every situation to see, okay, what is the best play at this moment? You've had to deal with maybe some teams or some coaches who didn't always know how to make the most of what you bring to the ice or maybe give you, put you in the right opportunity to succeed. What was, what's that like when you're like, I know I can do this really well, but you're asking me to do something I'm not supposed to do. Yeah, I mean, it, it is it is tough. I mean, obviously, first of all, you gotta believe in yourself that you can do it. And then to have a coach to believe in you and kind of like put you in situations that you can succeed, that helps a ton. But now looking back, I feel like I learned a lot from it as well. So it's kind of, it's, it's, it's hard to talk about exactly when it happened, but like looking back, I'm kind of glad it did because I feel like it also helped me grow as not only a hockey player, but as a person as well. And I mean, I, I, I don't want to say I'm happy it happened, but I see that things happen for a reason. And that's why I kind of like, I am where I am right now and probably feel like I'm playing better hockey than I did in those years as well, so. And you're a huge part of this team. You have to feel that too, right? Absolutely, that, yeah. yeah the opportunity is right there for you. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, right now we're having success with the team. We're playing good. And I mean, we were talking about points, but like you said, just the thing that be part of this team, have a role, do your thing. And yeah, I feel like this team really appreciate what I do. And I appreciate the confidence from coaches, from the other players. And when you get the chance, you just got to take it and make the best out of it. And that's what I'm trying to do every day, pretty much. 
cracks me up that you now consider yourself an old player in this yeah. league. I mean, I, I looked through the lineup and I realized that when it comes to games played, I'm kind of like up there. I don't know if I'm like top five <laughs> and I'm like, wow, I'm like one of the old guys and I'm going to be one of those in the locker room. It's going to be all oh, back in my days. And <laughs> What are, your, what are your outlets to get the space you need from your job? Ever since we had our son Rio, <laughs> it kind of did a 360, but it's also probably the best. I wouldn't say it's to get away from the game, but he is like, he is the most important thing. And to like coming home from practice and spend time with him, with my wife, with my dog, that kind of gives you the feeling like, yeah, I mean, you have these other things that are like big in your life. And then hockey comes, it's, it's a job, but it's still like a hobby. It's something I love. But at the end of the day, to combine those two and just kind of like find one is you do one thing on the ice, and when you're off, when you're home, you try to focus on another thing. And yeah. I kind of like right now, I just feel like it's just so much easier to come come home. So you have a bad game, and you see your son smiling, and it's just like you know what, it's all right, That's you know? Awesome. Yeah. What are you willing to share about? Felicia, your, your now wife, but this incredible human that you're spending your life with. Yeah, no, I mean, she's the, she is the best person. I mean, she is, uh, I mean, you notice her when she comes into the room. She is a uh, blast of sunshine, and it's something I really love about her. She is just so fun to be around, and like you said, it's impressive. I mean, obviously right now she's here uh, following my career, but she has so much potential and is, uh, did great things. I mean, not only does she care about and helping out with animals and she has different projects that she starts but she's studying to be a journalist and all that wow. and then I mean it's tough because she has to pause that for me and I mean it's always tough because uh, I mean obviously she had a goal in life and all that and all of a sudden now uh, took a little detour have a kid and all that but I mean we're excited about the future and see what's ahead but like you said she is uh, an amazing person for sure. Okay, so Wenny, you have been voted by your teammates best dressed. Oh yeah? How important is fashion to you, seriously? Yeah, no, I mean, I wouldn't say it's important. I do think it's a lot of fun. But uh, I mean, I come to this point too, it's like, I, I more wanna wear like comfortable clothes. Cause right now being a dad as well, like you don't wanna like, I mean, you're gonna get spaghetti on your shirt. That's 100% <laughs> sure. I heard a story in Columbus that one season after it was done, you and Felicia, didn't just donate your clothes, but you intentionally found a charity for LGBTQ youth who maybe weren't feeling supported by their families. Why was that so important? Not just to give to those in need, but this very specific community. No, I mean, uh, I will not take the, the only credit for this. My wife is doing like a hell of a job with this. We just felt like when it comes to like clothes we're not using or something, this could come to people with needs and all that. And it really, Looking at the charity right there with the LBGTQ, it really felt like a great option and something that we can do for them. The small thing we can do that actually have an effect, we try to just do it as much as we can. And I'm not saying we're doing it every time and it's all perfect, but I mean, we, we try to do the best as we can to just be a part of it. And it just kind of like give it back to your community and all that, so yeah. Oh my gosh, there it is. <laughs> we made it. We didn't get lost. We didn't get lost. And it's so nice actually, like, look at this though with the river, no? This is what's cool about Seattle though, right? Like, not every NHL market has this kind of... No, for sure, for sure. They have these sneaky spots here, like this small hike. Not only this one, but like all of them. It's crazy. Wow. Right now we got the little snow here sprinkled on top of it, which makes it even nicer. This is awesome, this is awesome. We made it! You sure did. All done. Let's see, let's check our time. Under 122. We beat the law of averages. I'm not surprised. No, no, no. All we good. did it. All good. No, we did great. I mean, I feel like the way down was way easier than the way up, though. <laughs> I like that one. More downhill. Yes, more, more downhill. downhill. Well, Alex, thank you so much. This was awesome. And uh, we can't wait to see you guys on the next time. <laughs>